This is the Airfix Roman fault. And it was part of their snap together port range that complemented their uh, HO scale figures. It's based on a, a Roman mile castle, which, as the name suggests, along Hadrian's Wall, every mile there would be a fort like this. The Roman Emperor Hadrian decided to consolidate his empire. Um, this is AD 22. Again, not to expand, but just to protect what he already had. So Hadrian's Wall was built to control the northern border of Britannia. And it runs from Newcastle to Carlisle and was actually completed in seven years. All the legionaries built the fort. There were obviously en engineers amongst the legionaries. So the wall is 73 miles long and was built of stone. It was 10 foot thick, 20 feet high. And like I said, every mile, there was a fort like this. The idea was to let trade through, or control the trade, but keep the uh, barbarians and rebellious tribes out. Julius Caesar had uh, raided Britain in 55 BC. Britain wasn't conquered until the Emperor Claudius launched this invasion in 43 AD. The Britons themselves they were one of the last um, Celtic people to actually use chariots in warfare. And a lot of the airfix based a lot of these figures on real archaeological finds. There's a shield carried by this chieftain. It's called the Battersea, Battersea Shield. It was found in the River Thames. Just look on here. Also, the helmet this gentleman's wearing was um, found at Wolf by Waterloo Bridge, also in the River Thames. So are based on some realistic features. Yeah, there was another shield, I think it was called the Chertsey Shield, and it was carried by these, these spearmen. So all these figures are F the Airfix Ancient Britons. Out to try their luck and get through the Roman fort. These are the Roman archers. Roman legionaries set out for battle. Others marching up one of their famous Roman roads. And just for comparison, these are some Romans more recent, like Italeri, which are quite a nice set of figures. Hope you enjoyed having a look at the fall. 
I didn't actually build this fort. I worked with a gentleman called Donald Skinner in a model making company and um, he actually gave me this fort. He used to uh, build models for Tamiya and Airfix to go in their catalogues. That was a very nice gift from a true gentleman. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Northern Britain. As ever, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it.